Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is Mod Wednesday. Well, today's mod is a actual blueprint that uh, I found that uh, looks pretty cool. And since I have not, I am not the best uh, at uh, uh, designing things. I kind of like looking at uh, different blueprints out there. And so today's blueprint is by. Scruffed, and it is the SRC cargo container. Now this uh, is uh, kind of a nifty little uh, uh, item that uh, will work well on land, and I'm assuming up in the uh, uh, space. It has now I've set up a uh, rotor with a small head on it. It is a small block uh, container. And uh, so I've got that set up, and you can kind of see it right there uh, in the blueprint itself. Again, you find it, uh, if you hit F10, that brings up your blueprints, and then you can just scroll through. Uh, and in mine, it's right down here. You'll see the uh, cargo container right there. So that's the blueprint. And uh, I uh, set up a control seat so that I can see as I'm adjusting the projector so I can kind of get it set up. So that's the blueprint. The idea behind this now, uh, and hold on, let me do one more. Th well, actually, let me mention this first. It does require three different DLCs, the uh, Sparks of Future, uh, the Heavy Industry, and the Warfare 2 uh, DLCs. So you'll, in order to build this uh, exactly as it is, you'll need those DLCs as well. Now let me do something here real quick. Okay, that just gets me into where I can read some more of what uh, Scruffed has out there. Now, uh, it has uh, 203 blocks, its PCU is 2,248 and the grid mass is 12,667. Uh, he has a little bit of lore. Uh, talks about it's, uh, that the cargo container is made from three medium ones, perfect for transporting all the goods you need and that sort of thing. So uh, it uh, is really kind of a cool looking uh, uh, container. Again, it's got three medium containers in there, but it has hydrogen tanks on it. Uh, it, uh, it's got a couple of those. It's got uh, uh, a couple of nuclear reactors. And if uh, it's got the connectors on the end. Uh, it has a battery there, and I think it has a battery on this end. So it has two batteries. Matter of fact, let's just go in and take a look at, uh, let's see, yeah, there we go. So you can kind of see it has all of the button panels, uh, it has some turret controllers, which I'm assuming you can probably set up turrets on there. Uh, lighting, it's got the cargo, hydrogen, uh, it's got merge blocks, and I'll kind of talk about that in just a little bit. Uh, and then the reactors, and, and then uh, the warfare batteries on there. So it really uh, has a lot of uh, items on there. Now it has merge blocks, so it's got uh, four merge blocks on the bottom. And it's got four merge blocks on the top up here that you can use to uh, lift this and stack this into uh, various configurations. I think that's about covers it. So have a look. I got the link down below. I think it's pretty cool looking. Uh, again, uh, it would make a very nice addition to your builds and really be very useful uh, in uh, transporting stuff. You can hook onto the connectors with different kinds of uh, vehicles. And then next week, I will cover the uh, SRC Hermit, which you can use to move these uh, cargo bays around it. All right, well, I think that's about gonna wrap up the video. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And please subscribe. That really helps the channel out a lot. 
Uh, all right, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.